Welcome! In any introductory chemistry class, you will be involved in laboratory experiments. It is important that you know some basic techniques for laboratory work. In this podcast, I'll point out the learning targets that you will need to master in order to work efficiently and safely in a high school chemistry lab. Learning how to light and adjust a Bunsen burner is important because you will use this piece of equipment regularly throughout the course. By the time you are done with the first experiment, you should be able to identify the parts of the burner. It's pretty simple. You should also be able to light it safely and adjust the flame to create a nice inner blue cone that will provide the maximum level of heat for your experiment. Of course, it's just as important to know that you know how to extinguish the flame properly and quickly, especially in the event of an emergency. Hint, it is not a birthday candle, so resist the urge just to blow out the flame. In part two of the lab, you will work with glass tubing to create a smooth 90 degree glass bend with fire polished ends. You will then learn how to insert that glass bend into a rubber stopper without breaking the glass or cutting your hand. As you are working with the glass, it is important to understand that hot and cold glass look exactly alike. Please be patient and do not demonstrate your understanding of this important concept by burning yourself. That would definitely drive the point home, but let's not start the year in pain, eh? Knowing how to properly handle and transfer solids is another skill that you will use repeatedly throughout the course. Instruments like those pictured here can be used to move chemicals to massing boats and other containers without touching the chemical directly. Thousands of chemicals look practically alike, so don't assume that what you're working with is harmless or that it's not contaminated. In Lab 1, you will be working with an O-House dialogram balance. We also have electronic balances, but our, for our purposes now, I'll just talk about the dialogram. It can be used to measure masses to the hundredths place. Because the balance is a precision instrument, it must be handled carefully. Before you mass something, you must zero the balance in order to obtain an accurate reading by starting at the correct spot. You will also learn how to protect the balance pan from damage and to work within the tolerance or capacity of the balance. By the time you finish this section, you will be able to measure the mass of substances from small objects to finely ground solids with ease. When it comes to measuring liquids, instruments such as pipettes, graduated cylinders, and burettes may be used to obtain precise volumes of substances. A graduated cylinder is pictured here because it is the apparatus that you will use most often in this course. Obtaining accurate readings of volume is just as important as selecting the proper piece of equipment to use. You will learn to identify the meniscus at the top of a liquid sample and to read the volume from the proper location on the meniscus. As with all lab equipment, proper cleaning and care of the devices used to measure liquid volumes is important. Filtration is a common technique for separating mixtures of solids in the general chemistry laboratory. The process involves several steps, but they're all pretty straightforward. The key to filtration is to account for every particle of substance as best you can. By practicing with sodium chloride and silicon dioxide in this section of the lab, you will become familiar with the process and identify ways to limit spills and contamination. Please read these learning targets carefully and compare this diagram to the diagram in your lab packet. You will notice some new terms that sound similar, but are in fact very different. Working safely in the chemistry laboratory is a priority. By conducting yourself responsibly and preparing ahead of time, you will be able to conduct experiments without hurting yourself or others. Experimentation is a vital component of science and your teacher wants you to get the most out of the lab experience that you can. Get ready to start. This is going to be fun.